somebody? Did you done? What? It's time to start the show. It's time to start the show. Okay. Oh, don't careful. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Tom Joyce. Could you all make me feel at home and everybody say hi, Tom? Oh, thank you. Now I feel right at home. Hmm. Mom, I'm hungry. Oops. Maybe too much at home. My mom's not here. But I do have some magic tricks. Do you want to see them? Oh, God. <laughs> First thing you need is a magic wand when you do a magic show. Now this, it's a little silly. My brother made it for me for my birthday. He was trying to be creative. He made them out of pom-poms and a pole. I think they used to be on his old winter hats. But now they're attached to this pole with a long string and a short string. So when I pull on the red pom-pom, the white pom-pom goes up, correct? Yes, that makes sense. Here's where things start to get a little bit strange. When you pull on the yellow pom-pom, the white pom-pom also goes up, even though the yellow pom-pom is connected to the blue pom-pom. Then when you go back and pull on the red pom-pom, The blue pom-pom goes up, even though the red pom-pom is connected to the white pom-pom. Stranger still, when you pull on the blue pom-pom, the white pom-pom goes up, even though the blue pom-pom is connected to the yellow pom-pom. And finally, when you pull on the white pom-pom, the blue pom-pom goes up, even though the white pom-pom is connected to the red pom-pom. I said, that is confusing. How does it work? He said, I'm not telling. It's a secret. But he did tell me to never ever pull on the white and the blue at the same time. Whoa, because if you do that, both of the strings become long and they might get tangled. That's right. And I said, well, I'll be very careful to untangle them. And then I used my imagination and I thought, hmm, not exactly sure how this works, but I think it must have something to do with a whole bunch of strings and wires going through that pole. Was anybody else thinking the same thing? Yes? Well, that is very good thinking. But do you know what? When I looked inside, I found no strings. I found no wires. I found absolutely nothing. Hmm. Except maybe a little bit of magic. Hmm. Now, I didn't bring this here to confuse you, okay? I brought this here just to warn you, okay? In case your brother makes you one of these magic wands. You don't have a brother? Or your sister. You don't have a sister? Or your dog. You don't have a dog? Maybe your goldfish is very crafty. I don't know who lives at your house, but if you even find one of these things, okay? Just leave it alone, okay? Because if you see something that has a pole and two pom-poms on this side with a long string and two pom-poms on this side with a very short string, I think the best thing that you could do is to just leave it alone, okay? Because if you try to figure it out like I did, You're just going to make yourself as crazy as me. And that's the end of that story. Oh, see, recognizing the universal sign of applause, arms outstretched and bowing. Thank you very much. That's what we need in a magic show. Lots of clapping, lots of imagination. This is a really big coloring book. It has pictures of a magician doing magic show, magic tricks. There's the old Hindu rope mystery, the classic bunny from the hat, an escape artist, the linking rings, the zigzag illusion, billiard balls. But I need your help. It's not colored. I need you to hold up your favorite color crayon like this, okay? Just with your imagination, all right? I'll use my big giant crayon, okay, here. It's got instructions. You can use it like a magic wand, okay? 
Now a magic wand, you can wave it like this, twirl it like this, and then you can even spin it like that, okay? But you have to be careful, all right? Oh, and this also says, do not pull on string. Don't pull on the string. Favorite colors up. And coloring. Color, 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 color. Ooh, the book's getting warm. That means it's working. All right, I'm going to check, see if I see any colors. Whoa, look at that. You did some great coloring. There's yellow and red and green and purple. That was yours? Oh, man. And that. Who scribbled? What? Are they all scribbled? Oh, man. Oh, me. I told you to? Oh, I showed you that. Oh, I did tell you to. Oh, okay. All right, okay. You really need to be careful what you say to kids. Okay? What I meant to say was, please stay inside the lines. Okay? Okay. Favorite colors up. And coloring. Oh, ooh, ooh, book's getting warm. Whoa. We better say... Abracadabra on three, just to be safe. One, two, three. Abracadabra. Whoa, look at that. You guys did a great job coloring. There's the bunny, there's the escape artist, linking rings, the doves, oh, doing the card tricks, and the magician doing the zigzag illusion, billiards balls, and oh, the end. Okay, that reminds me. When I get to the end of a magic trick, I'll say to you, well, that's the end of that one. And I want you to go, oh, you know, because it's supposed to be sad. <laughs> and then I'll go, but I have another. And I want you to go, oh, yay, happy days, okay? Let's practice. Well, that's the end of that one. I know, but I have another. Some of you are happy, that's good. Now this is a little tiny vase with a rope in it. Catch a little fairy, whoosh, put it inside, and everybody thinks that there's a magnet in the bottom because you're not going to believe what happens, okay? No magnet, no magnets on the ends, no magnet, no magnet. Watch. That little fairy that I put in there, She's very good at tying knots. Whoa. She tied a knot in the rope. Let's see if she can tie it tight. Whoa. She tied it really tight. Let's everybody give her a big round of applause. Yay. Excellent job. Yes, they are very polite. You're absolutely right. Can you untie it now, please? Oh, thank you. There's a bunny and a birdie. They used to go to summer camp and they, every year, and they became best friends. Little birdie. Wait a minute. Huh? They're both birdies. Oh my goodness. Oh, this will be good. So I'll take one of the birdies in my hand, squeeze really tight and take the other birdie in this hand and squeeze really tight. Birdies can fly, right? Look at that. Wait a minute. There's that bunny. Watch. It's an optical illusion. Look. Optical illusion means it's a trick you play on your eyes. If I hold the, the, the bunny like this, it looks, he looks like a bunny, but if I turn him over, he looks like a birdie. You see? Huh. Hmm. I have a plastic bag in my hand. It contains two coins, okay? The total of the two coins added together is 26 cents. The riddle is what two coins are in this plastic bag. Now, before you answer, I'm going to give you a little bit of a little clue, okay? One of the coins is not a quarter, and the other coin is not a penny. 
Okay, and I know a lot of you are thinking, with 25, well, then that would be, you know, so we got to be just two, and they're American coins. There's no trick coins. Um, so it's not, they're not, you know, we're pretty close to Canada. We don't, we're not using any, no Canadian money. Um, so, uh, so um, well, I'll just get right to it, okay? The coins are actually a quarter and a penny. But this is the coin that's not a penny, and this is the coin that's not a quarter. You see how this kind of a kind of a trick question. Yeah. Is it a riddle or a trick question? I'm not really sure. I do want you to um, pick a coin. The quarter or the penny? Josh, the quarter or the penny? Oh boy, the quarter. That's the tough one because that's the big one. All right, let's see. Whoa. And Josh, it's not a trick bag. I know you're thinking, oh, it's a, it's a trick, it's a self sealing. No, it's magic. I'm going to teach you how to do a magic trick. I'm going to teach you how to do a magic trick by showing you a different magic trick. Okay, still working on this. We're not going to use all the cards. We're only going to use 13 cards. And this is the ace through king. Okay. If you want to uh, keep track of a card, you just need to learn the order of the cards. Now, I've been trying to learn the order of the cards. So I think it goes jack, four, five, and then eight, nine, queen, and then seven, six, six, seven, I don't even know the order anymore, do I? Seven, six, three, two, one, king. Okay, so, 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 that's, so that's the order. So this is what we'll do. We'll use, this is the card that you would pick, okay? And then you put it inside the small packet. We're only using a small packet. Um, so we can... Um, so it's not so confusing, but it's still a little confusing. Okay, so we're going to use the king. All right, and if I put that in there, if it interrupts the order, then we know where the king is. Or we can just make the card smaller. And that makes it easy to find the king, too. But... If you don't want to do it that way, the cards are all in the same order, okay? Jack, four, five, eight, nine, queen, seven, six, three, two, ace. Yeah. So if the king goes inside there, you'll know that they picked the king. This is harder, hard part because it gets, and it gets smaller. There. There. Now they're really small. Jack four five. You know the order. Three two. Ace. Easy to find the king. Okay, so. Now we have to bring him back. Okay. So the first tr magic trick I ever bought was a deck of TV magic cards. And I, I, I saw it just like you were, that you're sitting there watching Magic on TV right now. Marshall Brodini TV Magic Cards. Now, they were a gimmicked deck of cards, meaning they were a trick deck of cards. Now that I'm a professional magician, I don't use trick deck anymore. I only use an ordinary deck. You see, this is an ordinary deck. It says it right there. Ordinary deck. Really? It's really. I wrote it. 
I wrote it down and then I read it. I believe everything I read. Now, this is not an ordinary deck at all. That was just a, an attempt at a joke. This is a very unordinary deck, okay? Because it, I drew a magician on stage. You can tell he's on stage because these are the curtains, and you can tell he's the magician because he's wearing a top hat. His name is Slim, okay? And you can tell he's, his name is Slim because he's kind of, uh, well, he's a little slim. Yeah. Now, Josh, this is what I want you to do, okay? Not yet, but in a moment, I want you to tell all the boys and girls what card you are thinking of, okay? Now, it can be any of the spades. Now, this deck is in new deck order. This is the order that you get a, a new deck of cards in, okay? These are all the spades. They're called spades. They kind of look like shovels. Shovel is another, um, shovel is another word for spades. This is not supposed to be there, so we'll move that there. Now it's in correct order, okay? Any of the diamonds, any of the clubs, some people call them clovers or puppy dog paws, or any of the hearts. Everybody knows what the hearts look like, okay? So, once again, new deck order. Now, Josh, what do you think when you, when you were looking at any of these cards? Uh, did any of them appeal to you? Did you, did you um, like any particular card? Well, they're all really good, Josh, and I like, the, I, I like your attitude, but we do have to select one. It doesn't make it any better than the others, but it's just, uh, it's just will be your particular card. And I can tell you what it is, too? Yes. Well, yeah, you say it out loud um, because Slim has already made his choice. The seven of hearts. Okay, sure. Now, now that's a seven of spades. It kind of looks like a heart there, but it's but it's a spades. That's a seven of diamonds. Now there's the seven of hearts right there. Okay, we'll keep it there in case anybody forgets which card you picked. Now I always give people a chance to change their mind. Josh, would you like to change your mind, or are you happy with the mind you have? Just another. Dumb joke. Well, if you're happy with the mind you have, that means you're not crazy. And we can get on with the trick. Ladies and gentlemen, Slim the Magician. That's the crowd noise. He loves a big crowd. This is a flip cartoon. Oh, thank you very much, folks. I tip my hat to you. I will now perform a classic of magic. What do most magicians pull out of a hat? That's right, a bunny. Oh, look at that. Looks like the ears of a bunny to me. But you know what? It's not a bunny at all. It's actually a giant sized playing card. And it's the seven of hearts, just like Josh picked. How? Did he know? Everybody clap really loud for Josh. Yay! I like going to the dollar store. I find these funny things. A parrot in a cage. A bird in his cage. Birds have to be careful because if they fly too closely to the cage, oh, they might get trapped inside and if they do they have to make sure that they escape all right one grand finale let's see if this works grand finale magic trick okay i take the poker chip in my hands not going up my sleeve okay i'm going to vanish it by rubbing my hand here rubbing there okay rubbing a little on top a little here, a little there, and the poker chip will vanish. It's gone. 
Who's booing? Don't boo. This hand, oh no. It's really gone. You see, how did you know it was, it was inside my hand? All I need to do is clap and then boop. And then there it goes. Look, it vanished. That's just my shirt. It's still here. Goodbye, everybody. Everybody say goodbye, Tom. Finish your breakfast. No, all of it. Bye.